It's your boy Wab Jim Blog TV coming straight out of Cincinnati, Ohio. And in this video, I'm just going to do a quick preview of the Eastern Conference Finals Toronto Raptors versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now, this series, um, I hope it can be interesting, but at the end of the day, I just feel like the Cavs, they have too much firepower. They have the superstar LeBron James, they have Kyrie Irving, they have Kevin Love. Well, on the other hand, you have um, Cal Lowry and DeMar DeRozan, who you don't really know which guys you're going to get. I mean, the last two games, they shot the ball well, they played well, but you just don't know which guys are going to show up. And if those guys do not show up and, you know, just miss a lot of shots, more than likely they're probably going to get swept. You know, but if those guys are making shots and hopefully, you know, the others on the Toronto Raptors, uh, Biz Mack and um, um, Damari Carroll, you know, step up and play big, Terrence Ross, overall it has to be a whole team collective, you know, effort if they want to beat the Cleveland Cavaliers. But if the main two guys on the Toronto Raptors do not uh, play well, then I don't even think they're going to win a game. But um, at the end of the day, I have the Cleveland Cavaliers uh, winning this series. Um, in five, I give Toronto Raptors at least one game, and if they can pull off two, that would be great. But um, I hope it's not a sweep. Sweep, at least make it interesting, um, you know. But if not, then hey, man, at the end of the day, the Cleveland Cavaliers—they just been on a roll right now. They're shooting a three-ball well, and as of right as of this moment, they haven't played no tough competition yet. The only tough competition that they will have a challenge with is depending on who comes out of the. The West, OKC, or the Golden State Warriors. But other than that, this is probably not a challenge. Now, I can see Toronto Raptors taking game one, honestly, because they're fresh off of playing in game seven. Some people say they may be tired, but I don't think those guys are fatigued. Well, on the other hand, the, the, the Cleveland Cavaliers, I believe they had like 11 days off. So they might be a little sluggish, a little rusty. But I'm pretty sure they're going to come prepared to play game one. But that's probably one of the best chances they have to snatch a you know, a game on the road, the Toronto Raptors is game one. But other than that, they will have to win um, on their home court. Um, but um, it was something interesting Kyle Lowry said in the uh, post-conference of the uh, the last game. I can't really remember what it was, but I'm like, dude, why would you wake up a sleeping giant and LeBron James and that squad? Like, just shut up and play. Yes, they beat the Cleveland Cavaliers two games to one in the regular season, but it's a different ball game in the playoffs. Obviously, because in the regular season, Kyle Lowry and DeMar DeRozan was playing better than what they are playing now. So, I don't know, man. It's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen. But at the end of the day, I'm going to roll with the Cleveland Cavaliers winning this series in five games. Um, I just think, you know, LeBron James and those guys are too focused, too much firepower, too much depth. And, you know, and then on top of that, they might not even, the Raptors may not even have Valor Tuna. So, that's a big blow. But, uh, yeah, guys, just tell me who you think will win this series. Comment, subscribe, favorite, like, share, check out my previous videos. Hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and all the social media sites. And once again, I am doing this video from my fucking phone because my webcam computer just went to act stupid. But I'm out, y'all. Deuces.